everyone. So we are trying a new kind of DIY tonight. We're week umpteenth into quarantine. I barely cut my hair as is. Um, so it's been probably close to a year since I've had a haircut and I am losing my patience with it. Um, so my husband came across this idea of basically cutting off the ends with a big butcher knife. So we just sharpened that bad boy up and we're going to try it. Let's go. Woo! Sharp. Don't miss. All right, first step, comb my hair back so it's all even. Hopefully the angle of my head will give it some kind of slight layering. <laughs> but my standards aren't that high. Trim is good for now. Don't mind a little head massage kind of thing. Gotta brush my hair more often. Okay, let, me, let me lift my hair up so you can like comb from down here a little bit. Like this? Yeah. Because sometimes there's like weird parts that come out. Perfectly pulled back. Got my big muscly husband ready to put those muscles to work. Chop this thing off. You ready? Ready to see this? I'm the guinea pig for all of you. Well, any of you who dare. Worst case scenario, <laughs> I go to the salon when it reopens in a few more weeks. All right, where is it on the board? Because, yeah, a pretty sizable amount needs to get chopped. Like here? All the way down there? Okay. I feel very calm. Surprising. I'm just so excited to get rid of this hair. Don't cut it at an angle. Although maybe that could be a, a look, you know? Some new trend. There's the knife. Woo, look at it glisten. Oh man, don't miss. Stop laughing. Is it coming off? I'm letting my chuckles out between between slices. <laughs> Are you doing the like what is it the texturing the texturing chops? Texturizing chops. Is that what you're doing? This is trust. This is relationship trust that we're modeling right here. Or insanity, I don't know. One of those. I'm gonna go with the former. I just got up and I'm looking at myself in the mirror right here. It still seems pretty long. <laughs> or how long was it before? There you go. See. Oh my gosh, my hair was like really long then. <laughs> See, this is why I'm a good candidate for this because the attention to detail of my own hair is not there. But it definitely feels thinned out. It definitely doesn't feel so raggedy. It looks pretty even. I mean, look at both sides there. They're coming together pretty, pretty evenly. 
I'd say it's pretty good. Let's let's get that that back of the head view. Can you even see that? See my kid's artwork right there? It's nice. I'm not doing a good job of this. Okay. How's that look? Hmm. I think it's good. There's my husband's muscles. I mean the hair that he just cut off. That's a lot. That's a sizable amount. I can barely tell that my hair is shorter, but <laughs> he just cut off like mad inches. It's like six or seven inches. Wow. Good job, babe. So yeah, I just gave it a quick blow dry. I didn't do any curling or anything. I'm not really good at that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is like a good wash and go. A little bit of layers in there. No cleanup involved. Just picked up those ends, threw them in the trash. Free, super fast. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that my hair was wet. I think that was obvious, but just in case I had just taken a shower and my hair was wet when we did it. So that's one other thing to keep in mind, but hope it's helpful for someone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.